Hello friends, uh, whether you've been playing this early or not, you would know that this port for Wobolong is uh, yet another PC port train wreck. <laughs> uh, I spent a lot of time trying to get it to work, and uh, this is the only thing I've found that worked for me. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and give a disclaimer, I don't like to do clickbait, so uh, I'm gonna say this is what worked for me. I've heard that there's been a lot of other fixes as well, like uh, locking the frame rate through NVIDIA control panel. Uh, that is something that I tried on both the demo and the full version, and uh, that did not work for me to remove stuttering and performance issues. Uh, some people are even going to extremes and, and disabling, uh, I guess, certain things in their BIOS <laughs> to get the game to, to work right, and I, I don't feel like, you know, for a, a full-priced, triple-A priced game, uh, you know, if you meet the recommended specs, you should not have to do that. So, uh, this was pretty much my last-ditch effort to continue playing this game before just giving up and waiting for patches, because, you know, that's, uh, that's the life of a PC gamer right now. Whether you got a, uh, you know, a 10-year-old laptop from your grandma, or <laughs> you got a level 99 content creator computer. So this is what I did. Uh, I have not done anything in the control panel at all. Uh, what I did here was... Put your max FPS on 120. You put the mode to prioritize FPS. Now, the problem with this port is that there's not really a whole lot of graphics options. You know, if you played uh, really poorly optimized PC ports before, you know that generally there's like one option that makes things run poorly. And if you turn it off or turn it to normal or low or whatever, then the game just kind of suddenly works. Uh, what I'm assuming is happening here is that... I guess this mode here actually disables certain things. And if you try to put it on prioritized resolution, the game will just run like crap, no matter what you do. It will stutter a lot, uh, even if it's managing to maintain 60 FPS. The frame pacing is all off. Frame pacing basically means it's a term that gets tossed around a lot. Frame pacing and frame time basically means that uh, if the, those two terms are bad, then the game can be running at a stable frame rate, which I would consider to be uh, 60 or above, and feel like it's playing at 30. Uh, I guess, for some reason, this just fixed the game for me. Uh, only thing I really did in the control panel before was I locked the FPS to 120, but this is a fresh install, so I'm pretty sure that's, that's not enabled. Uh, other thing you want to do as well is turn off volumetric cloud quality and volumetric fog. Uh, if you played any other Koei Tecmo game, <laughs> you would know that uh, that tends to make things run terribly regardless. So let's go ahead and load a beginning level because I haven't actually uh, haven't actually learned this part yet. Go ahead to uh, part one. Well, I should also give another disclaimer. It seems like they're already working on a patch, so Maybe by the time the game is officially released that uh, they'll do another patch, but uh, in case you don't want to do that, this is definitely an option. So if you want to see my frame rate, go ahead and look in the upper left hand corner. I've got MSI Afterburner up. Uh, if you played the demo at launch, you would know that it didn't it did not run like this at all. So <laughs> it's, pretty, it's a pretty significant improvement. I definitely think, if nothing else, they should make the performance mode a little bit more clear. Uh, it actually makes a very huge difference. Now, I have still had some stuttering. Uh, whenever I summon the Divine Spirit, the frame rate kind of goes to crap, too. Uh, obviously that's something that settings won't fix, that's something that they need to fix on their end, but, uh, I think for how rarely or sparingly you use that, I think, <laughs> I think this is a better solution than you would expect. Uh, and I think, I think disabling things in your BIOS to play a video game is a little bit excessive. Uh, you should not need to do that. So the frame rate, this game still seems to be really demanding, meaning that I have a pretty good computer. I'll go ahead and post my specs in the description. It's still pretty demanding, but what's important is that the stuttering is gone. Uh, 
Obviously, this game is, uh, I would argue, it's pretty dumbed down from Neo 2, so there's not really a lot of options or combat death. Everything really revolves around the parry, and if the game is stuttering and dropping frames constantly, the game kind of doesn't function. <laughs> there definitely are uh, other kinds of action games where if the, g the frame rate drops, like Muso games and stuff, it's annoying, yes, but it doesn't completely ruin the experience. In this game, they're expecting you to make, like, split-second parrying decisions, so... Uh, I'll go ahead and I'll post the settings once more. Uh, if you want to be safe, you can go into the NVIDIA control panel for the game. Uh, you might have to go and browse to the EXE file to do that. And from there, you can just uh, lock the FPS to 120 or 60, respectively. Uh, I would recommend trying to go above, that way maybe you'll have a little bit more uh, leeway or breathing room before the game starts to feel choppy. But this completely removed the stuttering for me. The only stuttering I've had is when uh, I decide to use a Divine Spirit, in which case the game does still run like crap. Uh, I'm sure that things will be fixed later on, but go ahead and copy these settings and you'll be good to go. So mode prioritize FPS. Do not use prioritize resolution. It's a trap. Uh, it seems like it just makes the game run terribly regardless of what you do. You want to make sure that you have 120 FPS or 60, and then pretty much just copy the rest of this and you're good to go. Thanks for watching.